Hello my lovely 4th grade students, how are you? Today is Tuesday, the 23rd of March 2021. We are going to take exercise 7, page number 49, from unit 12. Listen, read and say. استمع, اقرأ, وقول. Number 1 here. A pink balloon. A pink balloon. Balloon. Zahri. We notice that we put stress on the last two letters. We put من شد على الحرفين الأخيرين in the word pink. Pink. Balloon. Balloon. There is a stress on the two uh, double uh, L. Number two, this lamb is L. هذا الحمل مريض. We have here stress on the two last letters. And P here is silent letter. We don't pronounce it. This lamb, this lamb is L and there is a stress on the double L here. Number three, a small hell, a small hell. Talle, sagira. We have stress on the two uh, last letters and hell here. We have also stress. We should على الحرفين L. Number four. Thank you. شكراً لك. Thank you. We have stress on the last two letters here. Try to read it and uh, try to put the stress on these letters. Now let's go to exercise 8. Read and circle yes or no. اقرأ ضع دائرة نعم أو لا. فاطمة was happy at the weekend. فاطمة كانت سعيدة في نهاية الأسبوع. She helped her mother make breakfast at 8 o'clock. ساعدت أمها في صنع الفطور في تمام الساعة الثامنة صباحا. She brushed her teeth and washed her hands at half past eight. هي فرشت أسنانها وغسلت وغسلت يديها. في تمام الساعة الثامنة والنصف half past eight the family walked to the beach at a quarter past nine العائلة مشت إلى الشاطئ في تمام الساعة التاسعة والربع she talked to her friends at the beach in the morning هي تحدثت مع أصدقائها صديقاتها في الشاطئ في الصباح and her brothers played football وإخوانها لعبوا كرة قدم now we want to read these sentences and check if the answer is yes or no number one is already done فاطمة was sad at the weekend. هل كانت فاطمة حزينة? No, of course. فاطمة was happy. سعيدة. كانت سعيدة. So the answer here will be no. Number two. فاطمة helped her mother in the morning. فاطمة ساعدت أمها في الصباح. What do you think? Yes, she helped her mother make breakfast. 
طالما يعني ساعدتها في تحضير الفطور بكون الوقت صباحا so the answer will be yes number three she brushed her teeth and washed her hands before breakfast هي هي فرشت أسنانها وغسلت يديها قبل الفطور قبل الفطور So what do you think here? She brushed her teeth and washed her hands at half past eight في تمام الساعة الثامنة ونصف Before or after uh, having breakfast After she had uh, breakfast Of course after So not uh, before after Okay So the answer will be no Not before The correct answer is after breakfast بعد ما تناولت الفطور Number four The family walked to the beach at a quarter past nine Look The family walked to the beach at a quarter past night. Is it correct? Yes. Uh, the time is correct, so the answer will be yes. Look at exercise 9. Say and write. قول و اكتب. Number 1. Number 1 we have I or I the same pronouncing نفس اللفظ but I is a pronoun pronoun but I here is a noun اسم عين وأنا ضمير Of course, we should put I at the beginning of the sentence. لما يكون في بداية جملة فراغ لازم يكون في ضمير يحل محل الفاعل سواء كان I أو أي ضمائر تانية. I like apples. أنا أحب التفاح. After the pronoun, we should have a verb. إحنا دائما بعد الضمائر اللي بتحل محل الفاعل منشوف الفعل فما بيصير انه نختار اي اي يعني بيصير المعنى ما يعني مش مناسب بالجملة and look at this sentence go to sleep baby اذهب الى النوم يا طفلي close one eye سكر عين واحدة Now close two eyes. والآن سكر العينين السنتين. طبعا بسياق الجملة لازم يجي هون اسم لأنه الفعل موجود close فعل أمر imperative. Close one eye. أغلق عين واحدة. So this is the suitable word in this sentence. Number two. Here or here. The same pronouncing. نفس اللفظ لكن هنا here معناها هنا. Here معناها يسمع. So where is the verb? This is the verb. هنا بكون يعني ظرف مكان هنا. Of course the verb. will come after the uh, pronoun or the subject الفعل دائما يأتي بعد الفاعل look at this listen استمع I can a wolf which one is the suitable word here <coughs> here or here of course here the verb طبعا نختار الفعل here I is a pronoun can is a model اللي هو يعني بيجي بعد ما بين الفعل والفاعل can و must و will 
فطبيعي بدنا نختار الفعل بقدس I'm looking for Nadia أنا أبحث عن Nadia Is she هل هي طبيعي رح يكون هنا Here Is she here هل هي هنا This is the suitable for this sentence Look at number three, two, or two, two. Mahona mana ila a preposition harf jar or two to the number two. Okay, the number two. I'm going the park with my friends. طبيعي لما بدنا ترجم الجملة أنا I'm going أنا سوف أذهب إلى المنتزه مع صديقاتي أو أصدقائي I'm going to دائما going بيجي وراها to أوكي لأنه فيها مكان أنا ذاهب إلى إلى المنتزه What's the time ما الوقت It's O'clock. طالما في ساعة معناته أكيد رح يكون two o'clock. Okay. And that's for today. Try to answer it and write the meanings of each word. Thanks for listening to me, my lovely students. Have a nice time and goodbye.